Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a quick look at this little mini camera that I picked up on Amazon. See it comes in the box like this, you get some user instructions. You have to download their app to do pretty much anything with this. It's the IWF Cam app for Android or Apple users. So there's the lens there, it says it's an HD camera. You see you get this little bendy neck thing so you can position the camera any way you want. If you look at the device itself, it essentially looks like a flash drive. We have a little button there, has R on it. We have a micro SD card slot there and the USB in there. Sure it would be nice if they gave you a little cover or something to go with this so it's not always exposed but it is what it is. Now we got to plug it in and it talks about red and blue lights coming on and we'll see if we can get it to connect and do that whole thing. Then I'll try and show you a clip of a video file that it produces so you can see the quality of it. So I got it plugged in, you can kind of see the lights on right there. I'm going to go ahead and download their app and see how this works. Alright, if we look at the available networks on our phone, this one that starts with BK is the camera. Now we're going to jump over to their app. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Look at my wall of cleaners. Well, pretty responsive. It actually doesn't look bad for the picture. And that was really easy to set up. So you can take a snapshot. You can hit record. See up at the top here, it shows how long we've been recording. There's a battery life indicator. I don't know if it has a microphone or not, it says inter echo. Well I guess that's working. So you can definitely hear. Although I don't know what that noise is unless it's the sound of my fan. I have no idea what that sound is. There's no sound on in the room. So the second you unplug it, it dies, but it gives you a battery level indicator up here. And in the instructions, it calls it a charge port, which charge port makes me think it doesn't have to stay plugged in. But the second I unplugged it, it died. I feel like it would definitely be a lot nicer if it had an internal battery to run off of. That would make it like a million times better. So for now I plugged it into this little solar powered portable power supply which is kind of a cool use for it I guess but I still would prefer an internal battery. Also the micro SD card is a 32 gigabyte max SD card. So there's the little camera at the end of this video I'll tack on some footage directly from the camera itself so you can see what it's all about. 